If you have one of the sealed, maintenance-free batteries with built-in charging indicator and you're about to replace your battery because the indicator showing showing black, I'm telling you hold on till you watch this video. Hi guys, Adam here and today we'll be talking about the SOC or the state of charge of the car battery. Most of the car batteries used in our cars nowadays are a sealed, maintenance-free with a charge indicator. This charge indicator is what we base our decision and many of us made the mistake replacing a perfect battery because this indicator turned black. In this video, I will tell you why not to trust this indicator and I will tell you why and I will show you what further check you need to perform in your battery to make sure this battery is a need replacement or you can do a conditioning such as this battery that we conditioned in our previous video. If you haven't seen this video, please click the link on the screen and do so. First of all, why shouldn't you trust this indicator? This indicator, basically what is called a built-in hydrometer or a bolt type hydrometer, okay? And unfortunately, it's only connected to one cell. Your battery, your car battery consists of six cells, but you're only monitoring one cell with this hydrometer. So you're making your decision to replace the battery because you have one faulty cell or a weak cell. Imagine that. And that's why you shouldn't trust it and you should be able to do further, further investigation. And uh, there, is, uh, there are many ways of doing the SOC uh, check on your battery, but we're only gonna mention two common and easy ways of doing so. The first, the first method is the volt using a voltmeter. The second method is using a hydrometer. Okay, in the first method, you will get a voltmeter such as this one, you will select the DC, the DC voltage, and you will use the voltmeter props, the negative on the negative ball of the battery and the positive on the positive ball of the battery, and you will get a reading, okay? In symbol, you're getting anything above 12.6 uh, or 12.6 and above, it's a healthy battery, okay? And it's okay. If you're getting anything of 12, uh, 12 volt, 12 volt meaning your battery is at 50% uh, charge and you need to put it on charge. If you have an 11.5 and below, your battery considered depleted. Okay, it's a very easy method, anyone can do. However, there is um, rules you need to follow. First rule, this, the battery need to be off charge and not connected to any load for a period of at least 12 hours, so you can have a stabilized reading or a stabilized, stabilized uh, voltage reading, okay? One, the second thing is this method. It really, as much as it's fast, but it doesn't give us um, the state of each cell. Because if you have a lower reading, say for example, 11.5, 11.5 volt, it is the total of all the cells the voltage in all the cell campaign and there is no way for you to read each uh, cell individually or the voltage in each, in each cell individually and that's why you should know the second method. The second method is using a hydrometer. Before we get there again the same thing the battery need to be for a minimum of 12 hours off charge and no low so you can get a stabilized reading. In a voltmeter we're using the voltage to give us in the, to read the voltage in in the hydrometer, we're using the fluid to tell us how our battery is charged. How, how so? In a hydrometer, we read the SG, or the specific gravity of fluid, okay? In symbol, all what we're doing is weighing the solution inside the battery, okay? And we go doing it so, cell by cell. Mentioned, as we mentioned in our uh, previous video, the battery electro electrolyte or solution uh, the liquid solution inside your battery consists of 64% water and 35% uh, sulfuric acid. When your battery is charged, the acid is in a solution. 
which it means more acid in the solution, the heavier the, 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 the solution is. When your battery is depleted, you, or the cell is depleted, you will end up with all your um, sulfuric acid on the battery on the battery plate and less acid in the solution, which it, the fluid would be lighter. And this way, we can have a reading of uh, charged or depleted. This is a normal uh, cheap type garage type uh, hydrometer, and um, is nothing really to it. Is well, what you have is a, some type of a rubber that you squeeze to suck the fluid in. You have a, a float inside, a glass float inside it, okay? And this is got a, a, a grating on it or a, or a reading. And also it has a very simple, we'll come now to the grading what it means, or the, the numbers what it means, but also you have a, a green, uh, it's colored, basically color coded, green is good, uh, white it's basically fair, and you have the red which is uh, recharge, okay? Uh, this is a basic type as I mentioned, it's a cheap type, you get the, the fancy type with the thermometer, and I will tell you now why you need a, a built-in thermometer. Okay, so how it works. The grading or the graduation or the number we have here is basically uh, from the, the green, which is 13, uh, 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 1300, and you have basically the red red, which is 1100, uh, 1100, okay? Or in another term when you read it is 1.200, uh, 1 1.1, or you have, which is basically would be just water, okay? Or um, you have the three point, uh, sorry, the one point three. In a hydrometer, uh, in a, using the hydrometer, each cell need to read anything one point two four zero or one uh, one thousand two hundred and, and forty. That is a healthy, a healthy cell. Anything from there to a thirteen hundred, that is a health or above, that is a healthy cell. Okay, anything lower than one thousand two hundred and twenty or one point two two zero, it's considered a uh, discharged cell, which it means there is no charge uh, or there is no uh, there is no charge in the cell. Okay. The one thing you need to be aware of, and that's why you need to have the type of the uh, the type that has the thermometer, is the fluid, the, the temperature in the cell influence the reading. Meaning is if you, if you have a cold weather and you have the bed, the solution is cold, is cold, you will have a denser fluid, or um, the density of the fluid or the, the fluid will be heavier. If you have a, a warm weather, for example, your fluid will be, or the solution will be lighter. And that's why there is, you have to take the temperature in mind when you do this reading and compensate, there is a compensation of uh, 0.004 point to every five uh, degree uh, increase or decrease. So if you're increasing temperature, you're gonna, uh, Compensate or you drop in the temperature, you compensate the 0.04. Okay, for me here for this test, the temperature here is the perfect temperature is a 25, is a 25 degree, which is it means that it's a perfect set uh, or 80 Fahrenheit. That's how you guys say it in Met, in, in Imperial, um, and that is basically the, the good uh, balance temperature for doing the test. How do you do the test? Very simple. You will take the, the hydrometer, you will squeeze this one before you go down, you will put it in each cell, okay? And basically you will release it slowly to suck, to suck fluid from inside the battery. Okay, As so. The float will, will go up, and I'm not sure if the camera is getting that, we'll just rotate the battery. As you can see here, the cell is basically green, which is telling me it's charged, it's good, okay? And I'm having a reading of one, two, uh, one, two, seven, zero, okay, on the cell. 
You squeeze the fluid very slowly and gently. Now, if I have a thermometer in, I will repeat this uh, uh, about four times minimum to get the thermometer to make the temperature inside the, 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 inside the battery or the solution temperature, and I will, will adjust. As I said, the temperature in, inside this room, or inside my garage, is the perfect balance 25 degrees. Anything above that, I would have to compensate. Anything below that, than that, I would have to compensate. Okay, second cell, same story. Slowly you release and you suck the fluid up. And this cell here, I have just a, let's call it uh, one, one to 80, which is perfect. It's healthier than this one here. Actually, this one was one to 75, I'm sorry. As you can see, again, same one uh, about. I'll charge some of the fluid. I'm just gonna repeat this this one here. Again, slowly, you will suck the the acid or the solution. And my reading here is also the actually one three. Or one three zero zero. So if you are a newbie or uh, start a DIY, don't don't panic about it. There's no panic or anything. It's a very simple test. You do yourself. You buy this uh, hydrometer from any garage, and it's very simple. It's color coded anyway, and you will see your reading is all here in the green. Is perfect state of charge. Okay, same reading as the uh, one the previous. Yeah. One two eighty across across the board, or the average would be let's say one one thousand two. Uh, 275 or 1.275 okay all in a green battery is in a very good um, in a very the battery is charged and good to go so guys this is basically a symbol how you uh, do the the SOC checks so if you have one of these indicators do not trust it and do the further check and this way you will be sure if your battery completely damaged or it need reconditioning. If your reading is still, um, you're having only one cell to two cells that giving you uh, a bad reading, you can recondition this battery such as you did with this battery. However, anything of three to four cells, unfortunately, the reconditioning, the more cells that you have bad reading on, the reconditioning basically will be touch and go. Um, I hope this video, I hope you, had some good information in this video and i hope i have contributed uh, to your knowledge and as always till the next time stay safe